There is just no easy way to put this. This series is being stolen away from us. We have seen some questionable officiating over the course of this series, but none more questionable than what we saw in the last episode. Not only was a goal stolen away from us on a fan of goal interference that cost us the game by one goal, by the way, but now they're even calling phantom elbowing penalties on Rostislav Nastrov to get him off the ice. We lost the last game four to three. We deserve to win it five to four and now we are fighting for our lives as you can see by the bracket the toronto maple leafs have a 2-1 lead over us here in the stanley cup finals we lose this one and we may be in too deep of a hole to dig ourselves out of but if we win the tides of this series turn we head back home and we get these wins so listen i know we've been taking this series seriously but today we turn it up to another level let's hop in to game number four okay we are playing in toronto we know how crazy this building can get they all have their glow sticks they're slinging them around a little bit today all right that's not getting into my head it's time for rusty in this first line to show coach and to show the world what we can do here we go win this draw we win this game we are winning this game let's go all right, boys, I'm telling you what, no messing around this game. No dumb penalties, no elbows, nothing. That looked a little questionable. That was a questionable shot as well, but hold on, we're going to dial it in. Okay, we do need to keep in mind, we still have a rivalry with Austin Matthews, all right? We will never forget. We may forgive. You know what? We're not going to forget. We're not going to forgive. We're not going to forget. Austin Matthews, you are forever going to be the target that we're going after. Okay, no penalties. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, uh, I'm calling for it. Feed me. Oh, let's go, baby! What a feed from Nathan McKinnon! And just like that, we are starting this series with a bang! Oh, I'm surprised the referees aren't calling an, an offside challenge on this one. You know, I almost had an extra step above that line, but we timed that perfectly. Nate McKinnon feeds me the puck. You know Randon would have tossed that in the corner, but McKinnon makes the right play. We get the B-way. We get the job done. Okay, what a start for the fellas. I told you we're all business today. We are all business today. What a move from Rusty, too. We got no energy in the tank. Let's get off the ice. Boys, I'm telling you something different is happening today. Edler, has that guy scored a goal all season long? Probably not. But he got one today because we are in a different mindset. Rusty got the boys fired up in the locker room. I tell you what. This is this is a team that's on a... It's not a team that's on a mission today. Also, let's be careful with that interference. That could have been really dumb. Here we go. Boom! Okay, yeah, we, we really need to stop yelling boom on just these average hits that, that aren't connecting in the slightest. Yeah, Matthews, you better dump that low. Tell you what, Matthews is starting to play a little afraid. You know, he's he knows he's got a target on his back, and it's not coming off of his back either. No, Matthews is not playing that afraid, all right? That's a good pass over to Marner. Marner's sitting mid-slot, wide open, and we got to watch the dumb bear run down the rink. Come on, Marns. Okay, for some reason, Patrice Bergeron just moved up the, the points ladder after Toronto scored their goal. We're not going to ask questions about that. Like I said, we are dialed in today. We're all business. Okay, we will, you know, we'll ask, we'll ask a slight question about that. Didn't make a ton of sense to me. Probably will never make sense. But uh, you know what? You know what does make sense? Me boarding this guy from behind. Brody, you're lucky. Okay, listen, boys, that's on me. I tried to get a penalty from hitting him from behind, then I took the trip afterwards out of frustration. That's on me, fellas. That's on me. No goals against. No goals against. We're fine. This has been the longest first period of all time, by the way. We got 11 minutes, and we're still out on the ice. All right, we're chilling. Boom! Okay, yeah. yeah. We're done. We're, we're done yelling boom. It's just it's just not consistent enough. Every time I yell boom, we, we give him the latest bump of all time. Okay, we got a little bit of wheels. Yep, feed me there, Kale. Let's go. Burn to the outside. <gasps> Burn to the outside! Ref, hold. Okay, not a lot of energy left. Again, we'll keep these short. This has been a long period as is. We got a lot of ice time. I'm fine with that. As long as we keep them short, we'll be good. I'm feeling a goal this rush up. Oh, hold on a second. Nice look there, Rant. Okay, we're gonna walk this in ourselves. They're giving us a little bit of space. Burn to the outside! McKinnon, that just, I mean, I know you, you did something right. <gasps> Boom! Oh, McKinnon with another rebound opportunity. A couple good ones there. We're going to find him again. Back door. Nice pick there. Nice pick. All right, that's that's a good play from them. Okay, hold on. We got another one. We're going to put on the spin up. Kyle Turris. Ew. Honestly, pretty good effort. Let's go again. Right up the middle. <gasps> Ew. Another good shot. I'm going to go low. Feed me Nate. Feed me Nate. Okay, he goes high instead. Way to look me off and way to give him a two-on-one the other way. 
Dude, where did he come from? What a play out of the corner. They make two quick passes and our defense is just nowhere to be found. I'm just sitting up at my point doing my job and they find the lane. Just like that, back to even. Holy, this is horrible. And just like that, we're not even anymore. It is a 3-2 to two game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. A, a devastating first period for Colorado as we had the lead we had all the momentum and we threw it out the window holy the frustration is starting to kick in here boys that just cannot happen from the Colorado Avalanche dude are you kidding me let's get ourselves back in the game all right this this game's gonna be solely on us I don't care about our teammates anymore this <gasps> try to go for the diving shot what an attempt what an effort out of rust okay hold on a second here hold on a second here Nate bury the biscuit dude how many shots does this guy have to get before he goes in? We've given him four backdoor feeds. We're going again. Okay, here we go. Same thing. Round the outside. Yep. <gasps> Boom. If I have just another point or two of act, point or two of accuracy, and both of those are going in. Me and Nathan McKinnon. But what just happened to Nathan McKinnon? What was going on with his leg? <laughs> Wait, did <laughs> I? Varley, you are insane. I think I just bodied their guy into my guy who lost his helmet after the hit. Can we get a slow-mo replay on that? All right, coach, listen, I'm, I'm putting the team on my back this game. I know we've already done it, but uh, it's time to take it up to another level right now. Let's go. Need a goal this shift, boys. Need a goal this shift. I'm going to play a little bit lower on the point. I mostly have been playing kind of a right wing position. I know I'm on left, but we've been getting the outlets out of right wing, so I'm going to stay over here, honestly. Okay, here we go, boys. Rant, I want you to take it in. Yep. Oh, great play there, Rant. Great play. Hold on. Around one. Try to find the short side. That's a great look. A great look. A great effort. That's all we could do. Please, no. Nice save, Varley. Find me, dude. Come on, Kale. We're just a little slow on these breakouts. There we go. We finally got some speed. Yep. Up to me. Nice look. We're going to go Spino. Give it to Smitty. Smitty, throw that puck low, dude. We're just, we're just a sec. <gasps> We're just a second low on the passes. If we get these off a little bit quicker, these will start to find the back of the net. Kick it low. Smitty's not there. We're in trouble. Okay, we're going to jump off the ice before something bad happens. 12.50 on the clock. No goals against. No goals against. Good plays. We're getting so many good opportunities here. We just have to find a way to beat Campbell. We got six minutes left in this period to do it. <gasps> what a poke. Rusty is buzzing. Stride deke. No! Another good shot. Another, another great shot, some would say. Going right to the net. Yep. Nice cut. <gasps> Rusty. Bang, Rusty! Boom! Let's go, fellas! We're back in this game. Okay. Mohawk Man is fired up as Rusty takes it to the net. I told you, boys, we're putting everything on the line this game. This is a must win. A huge goal from Rusty, a big celly to go with it, and we are back. If I blinked, I would have missed that one, Rostislav. That's right, coach. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We are back. Are the referees going to steal another hat trick away from Rostislav Nashrov? We have fought hard for these goals. We are putting in... We're putting in the work. Hold on, a little two-on-one. McKinnon, over to me. <gasps> what a sauce. Oh, what a back check. I mean, that's the best pass you could have made there. Yep. Look at these breakouts, dude. We are actually flying. Little inside, little outside, little spin-o. Little, little, little flashy from Rusty. Maybe a little bit too flashy. <sighs> Maybe not flashy enough. One minute left. Hey, I can't see how much energy is left, so we're just going to act like we have full green bars. I don't even care what we're at at this point. That's my guy. That's partially on me. Save their bars. I'm all the way up. <gasps> yep, here we go. <gasps> Try deke. Try deke. <gasps> Oh my, what a shot through the screen. What a move from Russ. We got 34 on the clock. We're staying out here for the rest of this. Marner on a slight B-way. Nice save, Vars. We're going to go for one last one last rush. Three, two. Okay, we get out of there. Dude. Rusty is putting the team on his back, and it's still not enough to have a lead. Tied at three, going into the third. One more period, one more goal. I think all we need is one goal to win this game and to turn the tides of this series. They score the next one. You might as well call this series over. We're not even going to show up for game number five. What was that, dude? Just got triple bopped in the corner. Shoot that low. <gasps> McKenna goes high instead. Hold on. This is still working. We'll get it back up to Kale. I'm going to go right to the net for a screen. We had the double screen, double tipper, and we don't get a piece of it. Coach, what more could you ask for me here? I, I am 
literally putting this team on my back. Why don't you go up to Nate McKinnon and ask him to do something this game? Just one thing. Okay, we're going to walk this in ourselves. Little... Okay, yep, right back to me. Right back to me. Here we go. Between legs. That would have been the grossest goal of Rusty's career. We still could get an apple on it. Hold on. Hold on. Streeters. Oh, my. Okay, we're going to get off the ice again. I'm not trying to get... Yeah, like I said, we got the long shifts down there. We have to be smarter. We have to force coach to put us on the ice in the dying moments of the game. I don't want... Just like that, another goal against while we're on the bench. What do you know? 4-3. Boy, is it it's starting to... <gasps> Rusty, Rusty wants to do a little pee right <laughs> Try to go backhand, forehand. Why didn't I do the Rusty Classic and keep it on the B? <gasps> oh! I've played 82 games this season. I've never seen the net come off, and it comes off at a time like this. Are you kidding me, EA? What in the world, dude? Not once have I seen that happen. Not once. <sighs> dude, what is happening, man? Net comes off the moorings when we have a golden opportunity in front. We should have four. Literally, I feel like our line alone should have five goals. I know we have a couple, but we should have five goals minimum with how we've been, how we've been playing. Great shot, even. Hold on. A muffin of a shot that got tipped by Rantanen behind me, but it, it still makes its way to the net. We got nine minutes left, no energy left. Let's go here. Listen, all I am asking is that one, one goal. One goal from not our line. One. <gasps> Boom! There's our one goal in first. Let's go! And we are tied at four. Okay, Rusty, fresh off the bench as well. We have full energy. The energy bar is... Oh my goodness. I, I think that was a reverse hit. I think that was an interference. I don't know. I don't know how it, neither of those are calls. I'm going to sit still, get some energy back here. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Perfect breakout. We got some wheels. We're going to go one last rush. McKinnon, that move was very unnecessary. That was, that was one of the worst, worst takes I've ever seen. <gasps> what is happening? What, what is that? When? She's when? When has a puck ever gone in the air like that, dude? And how does it not go in? Two minutes. I, I really need to get off the ice. We really need a timeout. But I also... I, I don't want to be off the ice for the rest of this period. What just happened? They called a penalty on that hit. They call not only call the penalty, a goal goes in right after it. Are you kidding me? My controller went flying. It is 5-4. We get a whistle. The headset flew off. Literally everything that could have went wrong there went wrong. And we might not have a chance to get it back on the ice. Boys, we need an absolute miracle. Now, our bar is going up pretty quick here. I, you got to think that we get out there with like 40, 45 seconds left. But it's not a guarantee. Here we go. Hold on a second, Smitty. I've got faith. I've got faith in this line to score another one. <gasps> what a save, dude. What do we need to buy one? 48 seconds. Nice save. We should be getting a goalie pull here pretty soon as well. And that's going to be me on the ice. So that's big. 40 seconds. We need to get this out of the zone. No goals against. No shots against. Nice save. 34 seconds. And we, we literally can't touch the puck in the defensive zone. They are just running an ozone cycle in the dying moments of this game. And just like this, it's going to end without us even touching the ice. Hold on a second. Here it is. Boys, get off the ice. Somebody get off the ice. Fergie, 13 seconds. Throws it in front. 10 seconds left. And another game that we are watching from the comfort of the bench. Wow. When you need a game-tying goal... Coach doesn't put Rusty out there. Another heartbreaking loss here in Toronto. Did I make a mistake? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know what the call was on the play. We never got to see the penalty. Was it a charge? Was it an elbow? Certainly it wasn't an interference. We made a good hit in my eyes. But what happens because of it? They get the extra man on the ice, find the back of the net, and just like this, another L for the Colorado Avalanche. Dude, I, I wore my heart on the ice out there, you know? I gave it my all each and every shift. We had so many good opportunities, especially in that third period. The cuts across the middle, the passes over to McKinnon, all of the backdoor feeds, and we just could not get it done. Yeah, and coach has the audacity to blame the defensive zone 
zone breakdowns on me. Listen, I made a good hit up at the point. That's my guy. I got my guy out of the play. The rest of the play is not on me. I don't know what happened behind the scenes there, but I'm not taking the blame here, coach. We are officially in a hole. Uh, we said this at the beginning of the game. We lose this one. We're in a hole that, that is going to be very difficult to dig ourselves out of. The series right now is uh, three to one, but we are heading back home and that is where things can change. What more can you ask for out of a player on the ice? 13 shots, 13 shots, eight hits. We played 20 minutes. We scored two goals. The rest of our line just had to do something and we win that game, but we can't do it all, fellas. We can't do it all. I'm actually rattled, you know? You guys will see the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's what this series is all about. As we take a look at our bracket, 3-1 for the Toronto Maple Leafs. One loss, and we head home. One win, and we still need to win two more. Like, this is just tough, dude. It's tough. There's no easy way to put it. This is going to be a grind, but we're not giving up, all right? I know things have gone wrong the last few episodes, but we turn the tides in the next one. If you are enjoying, be a pro with Rostislav Nashrov. And if you think we're making the comeback, hit the video with a like to let me know. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to one milli. That's it for this one. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.